You know, most people got to have something happen in life for them to be satisfied with life itself. You know, you hear a lot of people saying, it's boring, it's this, it's that. I need change. Well, when you're dealing in like, when you're dealing in divine faith, like straight, you have to feel the timing. You have to be patient. The anticipation is crazy. And then you have to also do the work on yourself. Do you know how it feels to actually do the work on you particularly and then wait on the divines or the most highs retrospect to the work you're doing within life? That's a weird feeling because you got to first know what that feels like. You got to be able to like learn that feeling without somebody directly telling you what that's going to be like. Like if you start being in tune with the natural order of things, the natural ether, like the natural surroundings, learning how to pick up vibrations and then being able to distinguish what vibration that is. That's a lot of work to do. It's a lot of work. And it's not something that just comes overnight. Like you literally have to test yourself through certain situations to learn what the fuck is going on. You know what I mean? And you have to know the indifference. You have to know when you're going too far left and you have to know when you're going too far right and you got to understand what it feels like to be right in that perfect spot. For the most part, the world is here to pick up on the signals when you're getting too close. Like, I mean, if you notice that shit, like you'll be getting close to a vibe or you'll be in a good feeling, something that's just placed so right at the moment. But then something will come out of left field, whether that's something you're familiar with, whether it's a friend, whether it's, you know, your job or whatever, and it'll try to grab most of that attention from that moment that you may be focusing on or putting into that certain circumstance. It'll try to grab it because now you have to focus on something else. The divine gives us all the wherewithal to know whatever it is that you think is important. If you give that importance to me, I'll make sure that you can focus on these things that is not as important as me. That's called sacrifice. And we can't sacrifice. We can't choose what we sacrifice and how much of it that we chose that we chose to choose to sacrifice. We have to sacrifice to a full. That means the sincere feeling of that belief that you have in that certain situation. You got to be able to let that go and fully just to allow it to be given back to you in a certain energy and be able to comprehend when that's real and that's taking place within those aspects. And, you know, I ain't going to particularly tell you that this is a work for any individual person. Like the way the divine is going to work for you is going to be on your strengths and your weaknesses. Everybody's strengths and weaknesses is not the same, but getting through the preliminaries is important. Almost like you have a menu within your. You have a menu within. The innate understanding of how you see things and that menu is telling you directly about certain things, particularly to a deeper level of connection that's not spoken or being shown. It's just something you had to like vibe and feel to get the understanding of what that means. So it's only going to be particularly to you. And I know a lot of people ain't going to even understand what the hell I be talking about. And that's cool. You know what I mean? That's cool. That's why I always leave the information down in the description, like for people who want to build with me, you want to talk or you need direction. My information is always in the description. You want to leave an offer and my information is always in the description. It's because most for the most part, it might not what the knowledge you have for yourself might not particularly be the energy that somebody needs to focus on within a self, but it may possibly be the direction that a person needs to start looking at and what that means for them individually. So I don't really 
I don't really take it upon myself to listen to a lot of information because first and foremost, I understand their perception is only an angle. And I would charge that to anybody who ever listening to me was for me is for me. But the way I'm looking at it might spark you to look at something in a way that's particularly for you and what that means for the characteristics and the perception that you carry within yourself. Like, I can't tell you how to feel hot and cold. I can't tell you what food tastes like to you. I can't tell you how that digestive system work. I can't tell you how well you receive that. You know what I'm saying? But what I can do is offer you the direction of increasing that value. And for the most part, you know what I'm saying? That's what we be looking for or lacking when it comes to this life. This true connection to the divine and what that means on how to actually hear those things. Or are you satisfied with what somebody, a middleman can tell you in your regular senses that you deal with? You know what I mean? To describe certain uh, situations or polarities of energies and vibrations that may exist in life. Are you satisfied with that? But, you know, as imperfect humans, you know what I'm saying? It's hard for us to be satisfied with anything. You know what I mean? So for the most part, that's where those those feelings be coming from. We like, yo, we need more within life where the more is always going to be connected within that divine understanding and how well you connect to that principle. So for you can feel those extra vibrations that just don't come through non animate situations or circumstances. I know that's probably going to go over a lot of people's head, but take your time when you listen to this. You know, don't watch me. Try to listen. You know what I'm saying? Because when you take it in, you know what I mean? And you allow the consciousness to listen with you, then the decipher of what I'm saying and how that works for you, sometimes it works a little better than just watching somebody and being judgmental to how you perceive these circumstances. Let the divine help you because if it's something in what I'm saying that's for you, and this is a divine pretense, only your connection to the divine, to the divine is going to allow this to, to ring in your perception a certain way to where it lights a light bulb. The world is always going to be off tilt. That don't mean you have to be a part of what's off tilt. You can graduate in your mentality and your senses in a way that is not going to be particular to how people actually perceive certain things, but it'll it'll liberate you. It'll alleviate you. It'll have you in a way of receiving different vibrations and um, vibrations and and universal signals that'll give you a different know-how and that's going to be particularly to the menu that you carry in yourself as far as how you perceive things in life perceptions always change you know what i'm saying and that's that's the whole thing about growth and getting older like when you're young you perceive things in a certain way and as you get older depending on the physical standpoint is how you start looking at things different and the capabilities well as you get older the mind starts to achieve different more levels because you're picking up vibrations but it's best to be able to understand that energy and what that means like i ain't gonna hold you i'm just telling you the divine has a particular a particular class for you that will allow you to shine in a way that'll even shock you it'll give you things to say that'll even shock you it'll put you in places that you'll be like damn you ain't even know i can do these things and they ain't got nothing to do with the normal serving life aspect is reaching a little farther than that. And if you're willing to challenge yourself amongst things that is not normal and have a level of faith for something that's unseen, then watch the new information that you need to comprehend come out of nowhere. You already know the vibes, man. It's Naga.